we're playing through a Amplified Nation still string singer. Now I've reviewed two other Amplified Nation amps and I've interviewed uh, the Taylor Cox, the owner of Amplified Nation. What did you hear in the amps that you love and how did you kind of make sure your amps had that or improved upon it? And I really kind of dove into that, that Dumble thing. I just love the sound. I love how the amps were very musical. I loved how the overdrive was organic. I love the feeling that I got when I played those amps. Um, and through that experience of building all those cabinets, I got to play like some of the best amps in the world. And, you know, it was a lot of clones and then guys started sending me real Dumbles too. I will put links to those two videos and to that interview, which I think is more actually insightful than my reviews is his uh, kind of walking down all the Dumble amps and why he creates what he does. Now, you guys know, and I'll just put it up front right now, that once I played my first Amplified Nation amp, I was so impressed that I sold my two rock. The uh, Amplifonics and Gain, which is the last one I reviewed, is still hands down probably one of my favorite overdriving amps. These amps though are extremely expensive. And because they're extremely expensive, they're hard to justify. And I'm not here to sell you one. I'm here to just show you what I like about them. And maybe you will either eliminate this from your want list or maybe maybe this will help educate you or help you'll get some insight on why you, you still may want it. The Still String Singer is essentially a very loud, clean amp. Now I know when we think of the Fender Twin, that's a very loud, clean amp, but this is an amp that no matter how loud you turn it, it's never gonna break up. It just sounds huge and it gets bigger and bigger and it just does this infinite sustain thing. Now, Amplified Nation, uh, Taylor's brand, he's kind of more, in my opinion, more like uh, Dave Friedman and uh, John Thompson from like Bad Cat and Friedman Amps and stuff, where, yeah, you know, they are doing Vox, they are doing Marshall, but they are doing something different. He is doing Dumble, but he's doing something different. This isn't like, wow, this is gonna sound exactly like the still string singer that Eric Johnson has, that John Mayer has, that Steve Ray Vaughan has. You know, obviously John Mayer famous meme is him putting his still string singer, I guess, in a like a hot, buying it a plane ticket and seatbelt it again. Obviously it does clean really well, but he's modified this one so that it's got overdrive as well. So I have that on a foot switch down below. So you can switch it to an overdrive, kind of really juice it up or run it clean. For the guitar, I'm running a Beltone Classic 1. Now this is again a guitar I reviewed and I'll put a link down below where you can go to that. And I think this is appropriate for the video because this is a very small boutique amp builder and this is a very small boutique guitar builder. Beltones are made in Florida. Steve the owner is a fantastic guy. A bunch of you actually have bought these and you know how great they are. It's like a hybrid between a Tele and a Les Paul. This one has P90s in it, so two P90s, which as you know, I love P90s. Let me start with a clean, and I'm just gonna go ahead and strum some stuff, play some stuff, and kind of talk about what it is that I like that's happening here. about that is when you're writing a song it's just nice to feel like you're not trying to you know trying to keep the sound going this so let's go ahead and listen to the overdrive Okay, so let's go over the controls because it seems like there's a ton and it's really not that complicated. We have the standard in and we have a FET in. Of course, you're gonna get more overdrive if you go with the FET in. So I don't know, really, to be honest with you, I find the amp really usable just the way I have it set. You have a volume, which is essentially a gain control. You have a bright, a deep, and a rock jazz, which we've shown you on the other amps. It's pretty standard. You have a treble, middle, and bass, and they all do pretty much 
what standard EQ controls do on any Fender amp. In other words, they're not extreme. You're not gonna notice that it goes super high to super lows. But then you have this filter controls and these are essentially, they, they're they notched. And what I found is um, the high, it depends on the cabinet I'm using. So in this case, what I'm running is through a 112 Creamback Celestion cabinet mic'd up with an SM57 and a room mic. For this rig, I felt like for some reason probably I don't know what it is, but it just needed a little bit more highs and I was able to go ahead and click this highs and kind of set it there. The low, I went straight up. What I've learned on both these is if you get too aggressive with either one, they get too extreme. You have the FET off control on the pedal. This turns on and off the pedal essentially. And then you have the send in return for the reverb, which is gorgeous. Then you have the master volume and the presence control. Now what I wanna do is take a second and show you this reverb, which is just astounding. Uh, it's amazing. So go ahead. I mean, it's just huge. And of course, we can do that however you want. You can get... So you can get it pretty crazy. Because I like the guitar to be dominant. What I notice is if you keep cranking up the rever reverb, uh, it just becomes reverb. You don't get a whole lot of... No definition. Let's start with a pedal. I'm going to go ahead and just use a Zen Drive, and here we go. <laughs> Now for the back of the amp, you're gonna have some basic stuff. You have the on off switch, you have a biasing control, you have a two, four, one, eight, and one sixteen ohm out. You have the pedal or boost switch. Then you have effects return. And then of course you have the foot switch. Now, one thing I should point out is not only are the, the Amplify Nation amps really cool sounding, they are very cool looking. You can pick how you want your amp to look. This is gray suede uh, with a black gr uh, glitter grill cloth. However, you can go on their site and build whatever you want. You can get purple, you can get leather, you can get custom fronts, custom finishes. This is a custom amp company. Like I said, for somebody looking for that top tier kind of crazy stuff, this is the place to go. And I really want to thank Amplified Nation for sending the amp out because, you know, uh, one of the questions I got when I did the last two was what about the others so hopefully we'll be able to check out all of them at some point because um, there's quite a few and they all do something different but like i said the other thing to point out about the steel string singer is that this one is the 50 watt version but like i said this is a custom company so you can get 22 watts 50 watts 75 watts 100 watts 150 watts uh, that's up to you. Me personally, I, I asked for the 50 watt version because I knew the headroom on the clean would be really good and it would still break up a little bit. So it's up to you what you need. But me personally, I thought the 50 was perfect. But again, you can kind of like fill it out for your needs. Obviously, I love the guitar. I reviewed the guitar a couple years ago and I've always really liked the belt tone stuff. And of course, I, I like Steve, the owner. Same with Taylor. I like Taylor a lot. I think he's extremely talented and he's one of the smartest guys in the amp business as far as I'm concerned with how he's built his business and built his business model. But his amps especially, they just have a little something. And to say that they're the best sounding amps in the world, you know, I don't ever kind of make bold claims like that. But what I will tell you is, is that if you're looking for something more, if you're, if you find yourself wanting when you're playing through a lot of amps, I think this is an amp company you should consider because of the fact that I'm not going to tell you it sounds like a Dumble. I'm just going to tell you that it sounds amazing. And that's just what it does. It takes what you love about amps like Fender's and it just makes it more. Same with the Amplophonics and Gain. It takes the things that you liked about Marshall and Saldano, and it makes it more. Again, check out their site, see what you got, see what they got, and uh, 
Let me know if there's other Amplified Nation amps you'd like me to check out, maybe you're curious about. And uh, also, if you're curious to know more about Beltone guitars, like I said, reach out to Steve at Beltone. It's what's great about these companies that I get to talk about with these products is these are owners of companies where you can call and talk to the owner. You can actually get information straight from them. So on that note, I want to thank you as always for your time. Till the next time, know your gear.